Well, that's the end of the, the first week back after the Christmas New Year break, and I, I hope everyone had a, a peaceful time, whether it was quiet or, or riotous and, and full of partying. I hope it was enjoyable. So, busy week again in Parliament. Uh, started off with the, the Welfare Reform Committee Tuesday morning. It's so difficult because I feel so helpless sitting in that committee listening to some of the changes that have been made in the welfare system. Or it's almost to me as if uh, the Conservatives and Lib Dems are trying to do away with the welfare system altogether. Um, absolutely ridiculous. When you look at the vote the other night, for example, the vast majority of MPs from Scotland voted against the changes in the House of Commons. Uh, but it didn't matter. Um, you know, it was almost like uh, Scotland were totally against changes, but they've been imposed by the rest of the UK. And to me, that's all the more reason why we have to take control of our own affairs. And I, I still have an ongoing disappointment that even um, you know, when offered the chance um, to take welfare, etc., into Scottish hands under the devolution settlement, the Unionist parties voted against that. So that was upsetting. And look where we are now. East Kilbride, of course, busy uh, moving on. I had a really good event today at the Optical Factory in East Kilbride, um, who have taken on two work experience young men, in fact, for four weeks' work experience, both in the practical side of creating lenses, the selling of, of spectacles, but the other element of the work that's carried out uh, by the owner of the Optical Factory is the Sight Aid International work that he does in Africa. Uh, so I met Jordan this morning, one of the chaps who's starting a week on Monday, and he's really excited about the idea of doing practical work, getting that in his CV, but also feels that there's a great opportunity there for voluntary work as well to help folk on the other side of the world. So all in all, uh, a busy week to be back, uh, looking forward to more work ahead. Um, what I'm not looking forward to, though, I have to say, is the frustration that comes from knowing Scotland could be so much more that we could provide a much, much better life for many people in this country by making our own decisions. Surely we're the ones that should make them if we live here in Scotland. But the fight continues, the struggle continues, and the work continues to make East Co-Bride the best town that it can be.